Welcome back to every chest to channel. Today so we're going to learn how to make this Nashiki Ubu dress. It's a free dress with a beautiful neckline. It also has pockets by the side and it's a very simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly. If this is something you like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so this is a very simple short dress. It's like a boo-boo dress. You can make this as long as you want. But mine is going to be short. Okay, it's going to be really short because that's how I want it. So I'm using two yards of fabric for this. And this is how I'm going to be folding my fabric. So this is going to be the yardage, which is the two yards. And this is going to be the length. Remember, this is an Ankara fabric. So this is the length side and this is the yard side. So now the first thing I'm going to do, I don't want to have any seam on the shoulder so what i'm going to do now is to first fold it by the yardage which means i'm going to be having one yard for front one yard for back remember this is just two yards so the length of my the total length of this dress is going to be 36 inches for me one yard for the length of the front one yard for the length of the back so after folding it on the yard side to get my length so for the side i'm going to fold it into two again so that's just like folding it to four remember this side is 45 inches so by the time we fold it it's going to be 22 and a half so the length that you need to fold it is going to be your shoulder length plus your desired sleeve length okay so that is how the fabric is folded so now let's continue with our Ankara fabric so like i said what you need to fold it on the side is your shoulder so for me the shoulder measurement i'm working with that's your ranch your back length divided by two is 16 for me divided by two is eight so here i have eight inches okay so after measuring the eight inches the next is to measure how long you want your sleeve to be so for my sleeve i want it to be around the elbow point so my elbow is around 11 inches so i'm just adding extra one inch to it so i'm marking it 12 inches so if you had this eight inches plus 12 inches what i have here in total is 20 inches that was why i did not exhaust remember it's 22 and have one fold so i just folded the one i need okay so now i have this on fold i have 20 inches on fold for the width and then for the length i'm using 36 inches which is the two yards that i'm working with so now I remember that this is on fold. Like I said, we are not going to be having any joining on our shoulder. So I'm not going to be doing any shoulder slope here. So for my neck width, I'm going to be working with three inches for the neck width. So this is three inches. And then for the neck depth for my back, I'm going to work with one and a half inches. I can also work with one inch. This is going to be a beautiful neckline. So I'm just going to connect that so the next thing i'm going to do now is to create my sleeve opening so like i said it's like a boo boo the opening is quite wide so depending on how wide you want yours to be for me my sleeve opening you you are going to do that on this outer side so from the shoulder remember there's no joining there my sleeve opening is going to be around 12 inches or 14 inches depending on how big you want it to be basically so i'm going to be using i think around 13 inches for mine okay you can still reduce it if you don't want so after making my 13 inches here i'm just going to come in by around two inches two inches or two and a half inches okay you don't need your round body measurement because it's going to be a booboo -boo dress so it's not fitted at any point so i just came in from two inches from my from my uh, sleeve opening here from where my sleeve opening stops and then what i measured here i'm just going to take it all down to the hem so you can see that it's going to be like a big a big dress it's not fitted at any point that's why i said it's very simple to me i'm just trying to curve this part so that it's not going to be too sharp okay so depending on how big you want it to be actually if you don't want it too big you can just come in by maybe five inches before you curve it so that it can be of moderate size but this is what i want mine to be so this is what i'm going to be going for so now what i'm going to do now is to cut out my shape and i'll cut my neckline as well so that i can work on the front neckline okay so you can see that the neckline is cut and then this is the shape for our side as well this is the sleeve opening and then i just came in and then went straight down so now to shape my front i'm going to detach my front and back so you can just give your shoulder point a little notch so that you know where to fold it okay 
but mine has a crease line so it's going to make it easy for me so what i'm doing now is just separating my front and back and then i'm going to refold my front so that i can shape the front neckline as well the front is a v neckline so this is what i'm doing okay so after folding it for the depth of your front neckline remember we already came down by one and a half inches for the back so it now depends on how deep you want it to be it's quite deep but i don't want it to be too deep as well so my bust point is around 11 inches so you can just leave it there or you can just go up a little bit and leave it at around 10 inches this is totally up to you and what you want so i think i'm just going to leave mine at 10 inches so i'm going to mark 10 inches there so on that 10 inches point i'm going to take my ruler and then i'm going to mark one and a half inches see this 10 inches point here on that point i'm going to mark one and a half inches inwards okay i'm marking one and a half inches inwards like this Okay, you can mark two inches as well if you want it wide. So after marking the one and a half inches inward, here I'm going to connect from here to where my neck would stop. So you can see my neck points here using my ruler. I'm going to connect it together. Then after connecting it together, I'm going to bring in my scissors and then cut out what I have here. Okay. So after cutting it out, this is what it looks like. So this is the back neckline and this is the front neckline. So I'm just going to open it fast now so that I can measure it all around for me to cut out my collar. So you can see this is my back and this is my front. So now from here, I'm just going to take my tape now and measure around what I have here. Okay, so just do this carefully. Make sure it's all around. And here I have about 28 or so. I'm just going to mark 30 inches. If I have excess, I'm going to cut it off. So I'm going to go ahead now and cut a long strip of fabric. I'm using this satin. I'm going to cut a fabric of 30 inches length. And then the width is going to be 2 inches on fold. Plus half an inch allowance to sew it around. So I'm going to cut 20, uh, 30 inches by 5 inches. Remember, by the time I've put it on food, my two inches plus half an inch is going to be two and a half. So when you open it up, it's going to be five inches. So now I'll cut this 30 inches by five inches and bring it back. So I have gone out to cut my collar now, and this is what it looks like. You can see it is high on on fold, it is two and a half inches by the 30 inches that we measured. So to sew it, I'm just going to notch the corner. So these two corners here, I'm just going to notch it by half an inch. That is what I'm going to use to sew. So this aspect is actually very important. So just notch it by half an inch. You can see that I'm using the tip of my scissors. So now it's going to open up like this for you. So now I'll take this to my sewing machine now. And then I'm going to sew this all around from the front to the back and then back to the front. Okay, so I have sewn this round now, as you can see, so you just need to weave these rough edges. So now the next thing I'm going to do is to cut off, I just have about half an inch excess here, so I'm going to cut it off. Okay, so after cutting off my excess, I'm going to flip what I have sewn like this, so you can see. So you just flip them to meet each other. So if you want it to overlap, you just increase your measurements by maybe half an inch, one inch, or how much you want it to overlap. But mine is just going to be on the side like this. So I'll just flip them to meet each other. The next thing is to sew. So to sew it now, remember we're on the right side, and then we have opened it up here like this. So to sew it, after flipping it, I'm just going to flip my fabric like this to the wrong side. And then I'm going to neatly assemble it and sew it down. So now because we have opened it by half an inch or whatever inch that you sew, it's going to make it easy for you so you can see how it's aligned. So I'm just going to place it together like this and then I'll take it to my sewing machine and then sew it down here. So I have gone ahead to sew it down. So when you flip it to the right side now, this is what it looks like. You can see how neat this is looking so now the next thing now is to place the design for the design you need to measure how long you want it to be okay so from here 
I think I'm just going to measure around 12 inches downwards for the length of my it can be longer it can be shorter or even 10 inches depending on what you want so for the breadth as well from this arc from where this stops you need to measure how long you want it to be on this side as well so it can also work with around 10 inches so you are going to use that measurement to cut out a fabric of 10 inches by 10 inches or 12 inches by 12 inches depending on what you want to do so after cutting my fabric like this you can see i just went ahead to fold it in by half an inch all around so that i can conceal all of these rough edges i just left this part that i'm going to sew to this place in uh, that's the only part i did not fold so now to sew it i'm going to start from this corner where this design the corner where this design stops that's where i'm going to start from and then i'm going to sew towards this side so now to sew it i'm going to flip it that's why i did not fold it inward i'm just going to match everything together still unfold like this you can see that this other side is unfold so i'll make sure that everything matches each other like this after placing it to match i'm going to go ahead and then sew it all straight like this so that by the time i finish sewing it so i hope you can see this well i'm going to place it to match this first um this first color here where the first color starts which is here and then i'm going to sew it straight so after sewing it i can now flip it over so i'll go and do that now so i have sewn it down now and then i've flipped it over so after flipping it over you can see that i made sure that this side aligns it's very important so the next thing now is to decide on the design you want for the hem as well so i'm just going to do like a v-shape on the hem so to assist me in doing this v-shape i'm going to put this design on fold you can actually do it anyhow you want whatever pattern you want i'm just going to put it on fold and then note the midpoint so after noting the midpoint now i'm going to curve it and do like v shape okay so this is what i intend to do so now i have noted my midpoint i'm going to notice it on this side as so well. then after noting this new midpoint i'm going to bring one side like this to form like a v shape here and then i'm going to iron it down okay but i'm just going to hold it with my paint first then the same thing i have done on this side i'm going to do it to this side as well and then make it in form of a v shape here so now i'm going to trim off the excess and then i'll go ahead and sew it down so this is what it's going to look like i hope you understand that so i'll first iron down these two v shape that i have and then i'll bring it back for us to continue so i have gone ahead to iron it you can see how i ironed it i just folded it just like i explained i ironed it down so now after ironing it i'll come in with my scissors now and then reduce it okay to like half an inch so that it's not going to be too bulky there so on this side as well i'm going to cut off the excess that i have so you can see now that it is smaller and then i'm just going to flip it to this side so you arrange your dress very well and then you go ahead and sew this down so you can hold it with your pin so i'm just arranging everything well you can also use your aiming gum to glue it down if you don't want to sew it so you just apply your aiming gum and iron it like that so i'm going to go ahead now and then sew on top of it so you can see that i have held mine with my pin so now i'll just go ahead and sew it down so i have sewn it down now i can see what it looks like so the next thing i is to hem the sleeve so for the sleeve you can actually tape it with this pattern this plain fabric that you have you can tape it inward so that when you raise your hand it's just going to show or you tape it outwards whichever one is fine and then for mine i want to put a pocket by the side so this is actually optional and i have cut out my pocket so i have several tutorials on how you can cut pockets already on the channel so i have cut four so i have two for each side so basically you just measure out your 
opening your pocket opening which is only seven inches okay and then i just place my hand by on it like this remember your hand always enters the pocket and then i just draw around the hand so that's how i cut my pocket so now i'll go ahead and fix the pocket to the side and then sew my side seam as well so i have gone ahead to fix one of the slip one of the pockets so i just want to show us how i am fixing the pocket so i'm going to measure from my shoulder where i want my pocket to start from and that is my waistline so i measured from the shoulder i measured 17 inches so this is the right side of my pocket and this is the wrong side so i'm just going to place the pocket right side facing right side on this outer side on the side seam area and then after placing it like this so after sewing it like this you do the same thing for the other side on the other side as well you're going to place it where you notch right side facing right side and then you sew it down so when you want to sew your side seam now you arrange it well okay after sewing this you arrange your side seam well and then you push this outwards like this so remember you must have sewn it down so you are going to push it outward and then place them on each other so when you are sewing you sew like this and when you get to the pocket you just branch and sew the pockets together with the side seam so let me show you the one i have sewn so you can see that after sewing this down on both sides of my pocket i just pushed it outward so when sewing my side seam i just sew the side seam and when i get there i turn to sew the pocket after sewing the pocket i just continue to sew my side seam so now your pocket must have been fixed and you can easily put your hand in or outward and you can see how neat it is so that's how you fix your pocket okay so this is what the dress looks like you can see the design that we created and then you can see our side pockets okay we have pockets on the two sides so this is my sleeve and like i said you can just decide to tape it with this plain fabric as well and then you can see that the neckline is a built up neckline and it's a free beautiful dress this is what the full view of the outfit looks like i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful story with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i will see you in the next one Bye.